So to start off today's video, let's clarify uh, two things that people mentioned. So the first one is the long bone and the curved bone. So I will be using it eventually for a construction experience. It's going to be for the uh, final level up to 99 construction. So we'll save that for then. And also some people mentioned that I could be out my magic long bows for money. Basically, if I, you know, string all these, I can get myself around 29k magic long bows and out all of them for money. Well, you see, 29k magic long bows takes a lot of time to string and also a lot of time to alk and I really don't need to do that because of course I do have the 27 mil GP and onyx bolts so I really don't have the time to go around alking 30k magic long bows construction itself takes a lot of time so I'd rather just out 3k of this and get the same amount of money right so I will be using this first and if for some reason my math is horrendous and then I get it wrong then I'll have the magic long bowls as backup. All right, there it is. Another day, another level, guys. 93 construction. Now I am uh, more than over halfway to 99. That is great stuff. We got 748k. Damn, dude. But let's see what's left uh, in terms of my supplies. I burned through about 6k teaks an hour, so they go by really fast. I'm gonna go through the mahoganies for last, probably, and 100k in oaks, so I got enough for another level. And yeah, I just gotta keep relying on cutting the teak logs for more planks, hopefully. I'm at uh, 5,000 dragon arrows now. It's gonna be so good when I finally use it, if I ever get a twisted bow. Alright, 800 raid. Wow, guys. Fortunately, nothing special to commemorate 800 kc raids but it was a nice raid though but yeah that's crazy dude freaking 200 more and i hit a thousand raids do i get a twist the bow before a thousand raids or do i not we'll figure it out soon enough all right good luck oh my god wow <laughs> Speaking of dragon sword, you actually got the dragon sword. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Now you can do faster, bro. Grats. <laughs> Alright, bro. You don't need a split, bro. You don't need a split. It's okay. Yo, guys. I was getting ready to go and cut some teaks, and then I noticed that I have a million pear essence. And you know what the sad part is? I'll really never use them because I just do the... Uh, blood rune crafting and stuff and that doesn't use any normal pure essence which is surprisingly sad yeah because it's just there but cool somebody told me something interesting so i got another master scroll book from the last episode and unfortunately the empty one don't stack with the one that i've already filled up but someone told me that if i just put at least one teleport on this empty one then actually i think i can stack both of them so let's go ahead and test this out Oh yeah, actually stacks. So that's great. Yeah, save myself another bank space. Dope. All right, here we go. The doodle. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh my god, dragon thorn axe. I'm so glad I didn't get that. <laughs> oh man. Oh GG, dude. This is why you guys can't call twisted bows every raid, cause. You jinx it, man. But I'm glad I didn't get that Throne Axe. I really didn't want that Throne Axe, okay? Fourth raid. Oh my god, no! <laughs> yo, what the fuck, yo? The raid before, Dragon Throne Axe, and then the raid after, a Dragon Sword. Oh my god. That's just... That's deplorable, man. I'm so glad I didn't get that, man. Good luck. Oh, all right, not bad, not bad, there we go. Not dragon item today. I mean, not a dragon item this time around, that's good. That'll be some good bond money right there. Nice to see. So there is a pretty easy way to keep a pretty decent track of how much uh, more teaks I need to collect for 99 construction. So once I finish, I should be around almost 20 mil woodcutting experience. So yeah, right now I'm at 16.1, so I am a little bit under 4 mil XP left to the 99 construction. So I guess I'll update every uh, other mil XP in the woodcutting. We got this 94 construction, holy shit. I just burned through 
probably like 7,000 teak planks just for this level. 7 to 8,000. But yeah, we got to burn about 9,000 teak planks for 95 construction. But I will save that for uh, probably tomorrow because I need to spend many hours cutting the teaks for it. Yep. Oh boy, I need to do a whole woodcutting session for today just to get the planks for tomorrow. But yeah, slowly going to use up these mahoganies as well. I also have quite quite a bit of teak logs that I just bank when I get bird nests. Maybe I can use an extra- Oh shit, this one's gonna hit me. Oh my god, these crabs are trying to kill me, bro. You see that shit? Alright, let's check this out. Oh my god, I actually got a drop. Wow. Jesus Christ, this is like my ninth pr uh, dexterous prayer scroll. Jesus Christ. How much are these nowadays? 66. They're holding their value for quite a bit. Alright, well, time to go for the back-to-back. -back. Um, if I could please get myself a unique item. That would be amazing. Thank you very much. As an, an item that I don't have yet. Yeah. Okay, let's see what the back-to-back -back has in store for us, yeah? If there is... Oh my god, back-to-back! -back. What the fuck? Wow, and it's an arcane prayer scroll too. What? That's crazy. I actually got the back-to-back. -back. Wow, dude. Um, but it's another, you know, item that I already gotten, so... Well, that's awesome. I guess I'm gonna go and uh, do another raid and see if I can go for the back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. Okay, let's see if the back-to-back-to-back... -to -back -to -back. Nope, can't get that. But that's okay. Oh, there it is. I am pretty much out of teaks now. So it's time for me to uh, use the mahogany to finish up this level here. So... Alright, there we go. That is 95 construction. Have to start using the mahoganies now. But uh, here's a little uh, small test with the mahoganies for the first time. It's a little tricky because I have to press 1 and 2 instead. Because uh, it's set to 2. But holy shit, what the fuck, dude. 800 plus thousand construction experience an hour. Holy shit. That's insane. But doodle. Oh, dude, we actually did get something. Okay, how much is that nowadays? It's good, 30 mil? Alright, I'll take a split. Thanks thanks for a bond or two. So, there's only four more construction levels left. We're so close, really. But yeah, these last four levels are going to be uh, substantially slower than the previous ones. So I'm expecting about one construction level every two to three days. Which means I will be, I think, getting 99 construction in around 10 days or like maybe 15 days if I start slacking off. But if I'm trying to get construction done in 10 days, I need to cut about like 2,600 teak logs a day, which isn't that bad at, at all, honestly. So there's a good chance I can get it done in 10, but I'll keep you updated, obviously, in the next episode. But anyways, I want to show you guys my experience so far you know that i've gathered while i started this construction grind so here is my wood cutting chart right here using the crystal math labs it basically trash your experience so i started around as you can see uh, early august and uh, it was around 14 xp and then ever since the goal i've been slowly creeping up actually not slowly i've actually been creeping up really fast look at that that's insane i've gained oh my god almost three mil wood cutting experience Actually, in game, I am almost uh, 70 mil XP, so I'll take that off, as you can see. So yeah, next episode, I'll be at 70 mil mark. And one last thing, of course, I gotta show you the construction. Dude, look at this. 5.5 million construction experience gain in total. So here's the chart of the construction experience. So you can tell I started here at around 3.3, and I've been just, uh, you know, skyrocketing from that point on. So here we go, all the way to now, 8.6. Eight, basically so today's episode was really race heavy I saw a ton of items this week as long as getting a few items myself for raids the most notable was definitely uh, the back-to-back -back deck scroll and arcane scroll I've never gone back-to-back -back items before from solo raids so that's really cool to see and from now on to keep track of the uh, raids progress I made this nice infograph for the video to show you guys you know how many items I've gone and like the progress thus far I've also split up into solos and groups so you can see you know how many of each I've gone from solos and how many of each I got from groups so the four items that I have zero zero for both 
Columns is, of course, Twisted Boat, the Elder Maul, the Twisted Buckler, and the Ancestral Row Bottoms. I have not gotten a new unique item in over a month now, and uh, it's going to be approaching two months soon at this rate. So I really hope I can get this 12th unique item before summer ends. So I'm just going to consistently grind raids and just hope for the best. I am going to be wrapping up today's video here guys, thank you guys so much for watching as usual, hope you guys enjoyed today's little video, and if you would like to stay up to date with videos from this channel if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe, that way you know exactly when the next video will come out, and uh, that's it, I will see you guys soon with some more gains, hopefully in a few days as usual, take care and bye bye.